Hi everybody, welcome to the trending stream here on the World Wide Web. Please, please subscribe and click and hit that bell to get all of the latest video notifications. Whenever I come out with a brand new video, you should be notified. And uh, yeah, guys, let's see here um, where I'm at. I'm multiple streaming, so I'm checking some certain things out. Not seeing it really on the trending stream, but it should pop up. But anyway, guys, thanks for coming by. Again, subscribe, click and hit the bell. Uh, that's the best way to know when I go live. I'm going on multiple platforms. Um, so yeah. Okay, Sam, what's up, buddy? Sam, real quick, Sam, where are you watching me at? On the trending stream? Uh, let me know if you're watching this on the trending stream or on the Truth Never Sleeps. Of course, I have multiple shows. Uh, I, I just finished doing a show on the Truth Never Sleeps uh, right here. And uh, it was a powerful show. Again, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse. A uh, big time review. Thanks, Sam, for the super chat, buddy. Really appreciate you, bro. Again, can you see me on the trending stream? Yeah, I guess you are seeing me on the trending stream. All right. So anyway, guys, I'm all over the place. I'm, uh, you know, basically, I'm uh, what they call, I, I'm live streaming on Facebook. I'm live streaming on Twitch. Now I'm live streaming on YouTube and DLive. So I got multiple uh, sources out there. So let's get to the story at hand. Uh, Elon Musk, right? That's why he came here. Uh, you know, now, you know, this guy, they say he's the richest man in the world, which is a lie, but that's what they're going to feed you. They're going to feed you that he is the richest man in the world when there's the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, you know, the big time banking cartels. And, uh, you know, this is what they're going to feed you the bull, right? But I give it to you straight here, giving you the top trending topics and news. Well, now with everything going on with the Ukrainian war and all this, Elon Musk, they're saying Elon Musk, that was threatened by the head of the, you know, the Russian space agencies for providing internet to the Ukrainians. So we know that, you know, Russia and Ukrainian are at war. They're fighting and stuff like that. We, we know that. And, um, you know, it's just a big time war over there. And supposedly Elon Musk gave them technology, gave them internet. And so now the SpaceX CEO jokes. He says, if he dies under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice to know ya. But his mom, May, doesn't find it funny. Well, any mother wouldn't, right? But whatever. Musk 50 has been using Starlink, a constellation of more than 2,000 satellites in low orbit, Earth's low orbit, becoming internet connections to dish around the world. Starlink has particularly strong presence in Ukraine, in, you know, introduced to keep the countries online aimed on the ongoing Russian invasion. Musk tweeted out information providing Rogonzin, the head of Russian space agency, Roscosmos, Roscosmos, right? In, you know, to the Russian media on Sunday. Rogozin accused Musk of giving Starlink equipment to what they refer as the, well, yeah, Nazazon Batalon, whatever, as well as branches of the Ukrainian military. And for this, you will have to answer in an adult way. Elon, no matter how much you play the fool, the billionaire responses he often does with a tongue pressed firmly in cheek. Well, if I die in mysterious circumstances, it was nice to know you. And so now the hit is on for Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is the guy, right, that just bought Twitter. This, I guess, is the guy, Rangozon, whatever his name, the head of Russia Space Station. And guys, I really don't even believe in this crap, you know, uh, this is CGI. I mean, look at this crap. This is CGI, right? But anyway, this is their Starlink, CGI Starlink constellation, more than 2,000 satellites low in Earth orbit, 
beaming internet connections and dish and all these things. Uh, of course, here's his mom. We know that she's a sellout. Uh, Elon Musk right here sent this to the Russian media. <laughs> I guess he had the Google Translate there. The world, uh, you know, again, is just, it is what it is. So there he was at the Met Gala. Again, they give you who they want to give you. Uh, here he is, Elon Musk, all these things. Uh, you have Zelensky there, which was an actor. I've talked about this all before. Of course, Vladimir Putin, right? He remains on the Ukraines and all these things. So there you go with that. Now, another thing that Elon Musk just said that just hit the news today as well, or it came out, uh, Elon Musk basically said that he wanted to reinstate Donald J. Trump. Yes, I may go back. I may go back to Twitter. I don't know. Melania, where are you at, baby? Melania. Well, anyway, Twitter founder Jack Dorsey reverses his course, of course, because now he sold Twitter to Elon Musk. And he says he agrees with Elon Musk that Trump's account should be reinstated and cause it a mistaken business decision. Of course, because you know what? This guy sold out for billions of dollars. Now he's a billionaire and he doesn't want the backlash of people talking crap about him. These people are so full of crap. It's not even funny. It's like the sewage. If I go outside my street right now, I pull out the manhole. Oh, I can't even say that. The worker's hole of, you know, the sewer. I open it up. I would see this fool's face right here. He's so full of garbage. So is Elon Musk, by the way. He's a con man too. So anyway, now that he's out, uh, you know, Elon Musk and all, all his clonies and cronies, right? are all saying, you know, again, on the Twitter sphere, oh, yeah, we should let, uh, you know, we should let, um, we should let the, uh, you know, Trump to come back. Yeah, right. Elon Musk is set to become the new owner of Twitter on Tuesday, said that he would reverse the company's ban on Donald Trump. Jack Dorsey, Mr. Sewage Man, who was the CEO of Twitter at the time of January 2021, banned, said he agreed with Musk's decision, of course. Dorsey stepped down from CEO in November 2021. Of course, this is when many of these, uh, you know, people were leaving and tweeted that the blocking of Trump from the platform was a business decision that shouldn't have been. What about me? I got banned on Twitter. Where's my ban? Where's my Twitter? Right? Uh, he said he believed then and believes now that Twitter bans should not be permanent. Musk said he believes that the ban on Trump following the January 6th uh, again, it was a morally bad decision. Trump has claimed that he would not return to Twitter if he was invited back. Yeah, he, th he is. And is launching his own company called The Truth Social. I've talked about that. I've ex talked, you know, again, uh, breaking that down. So anyway, uh, just again, full of craps. That's what these guys are. People are confused, but they know what's going on. Uh, it is what it is. And there's Donald I'm making the truth social, yeah. Yeah, I'm making the truth social, right? All there, okay? All part of it as well. And that's that. So again, uh, remember that Elon Musk didn't buy this for $44 billion and all this to give people back their Twitters. It's called data mining. Um, you know, just like uh, Facebook and all these things. Uh, he's a billionaire. They want their powers and stuff like that. Of course, I talked about now. This news just came out as well. May 10. Today, Elon Musk says the Neuralink brain chips will now uh, cure, 100% cure common illnesses by 2027. And guys, this is how they're going to sell you on these things. Never, ever let anybody put anything in your head. Come on. And that's connected to the internet. Elon Musk now claims that he has a cure in common, you know, will cure a common and deliberating diseases using computer chips hooked to people's brains. In a recent tweet, the billionaire said the company's Neuralink will fix the tetanitis, a condition that causes a ringing in the ear. And everybody, guys, I have tetanitis. Is it that 
We have the 5G towers uh, radiating and these towers that are just, you know, having these frequencies. It's the first time in, in human history that we're having these electro soup uh, energies, microwave energies. Guys, again, this is how they get you. It's again like the movie The V. You know, the, the 1980s movie where the aliens came down and they said, we're going to give you technology and we're going to cure all diseases. And then there were snakes and reptilians. This is the, the, the main game. They want you connected to the main frame like Skynet from the Terminator series. Must set up Neuralinks in 2016 with the goal of creating brain machine in, interfaces that connect humans to computers and now also the AI, he said, and I've talked about it before. When you open the AI, you are opening up the portal to demons, basically. Earlier trials have implicated coin size devices or coin size devices into the heads of monkeys. Well, now you're the next monkey if you're going to let this guy put that in you. Allowing them to play video games using their minds. So monkeys now are playing Call of Duty. They're playing Pac-Man. They're playing Donkey Kong. They're playing, I don't know, uh, whatever, uh, Tetris. Uh, could they make a full Tetris block? The company says the technology will one day help people to, from paralysis and neurological conditions. On April 24th, Musk tweeted that the neural links will definitely cure tetanitis, which affects 50 million people in the U.S. I just said, why do we have this? Because the, the 5G and the towers and all this crap. So again, it's all connected, and that's how they get internet through here, by the way, as well. The Tesla chief, again... Uh, previously claimed that the brain implants could one day cure all these diseases, la, la, la. So there is that. Now, I posted something on, on Facebook. Again, the face you make when you've got it's free speech, but then the neural links kick in. Scientists are getting ready to implant those microchips in human beings to create transhumans. They don't want us walking around freely. This ship will be able to read your mind, connect you to the metaverse and a virtual reality. The microchips are designed by a company called Neuralink, again, created by Elon Musk. And the metaverse is, again, connected to this guy, Mark Zuckerberg. Now, this was a photo that just came out uh, and everybody's saying it's very strange. Now, again, look at this woman here again in his team. This is some creepy ass s. You know what? Look at this woman here. Eyes are black, guys. This is, they're probably already chipped. But this is all a connection. We've talked about this. I've said it for years, for over 10, 12 years that I've been doing shows and helping people see what is happening and connecting the dots. This ain't cool, okay? This was worn by the good book thousands upon thousands of years. This will be how they will transfer the, the data energies, the, uh, the, the money, no man shall buy or barter in the book of Revelations. And again, this is is what's happening and look at the people behind it all man i wouldn't trust them with my dog if i had a dog or a cat or if i had a lollipop and i go can you hold this lollipop for me man i wouldn't trust them with jack snap these people are wicked as the day is long you know we live in a world where you have billionaires now wanting to chip you and everything starvation, homelessness is going on. Uh, how many people now are homeless around the world? Gas prices now are a sky high. Right now it's over $4, $4 and something. Uh, in LA and stuff is over five, $6, guys. Uh, we see the stock market crashing. I've been warning people to get your provisions, get your stuff, right? Get your house in order, especially your spiritual house in order. Because everything of the prophecies are coming to pass, guys. And that is the reality. And so anyway, Andy Warhol. So we have all the people broke, all these things, right? Um, uh, you know, we, we have uh, homelessness, hunger, uh, starvation in other countries. And somebody paid for an Andy Warhol silk screen portrait of Marilyn Monroe guys this is Marilyn Monroe this is the picture guess how much it went for as this world is going down to garbage okay so this painting went guys you can't make this stuff up 
okay, from a woman that sold her soul, right, cheated on everybody, right, it sold for, Marilyn Monroe sells for $195 million at auction. A hundred and let that sink in almost two hundred million dollars. We're not talking one million or one hundred thousand or five hundred thousand. No, we're talking close to two hundred million dollars. How much of that money could feed people, create infrastructures, job, all this? But this is what these elitists do the most ever. This is the most ever, uh, for an American artist after eclipsing Basquats. 110.5 million untitled skull face. Pop artist Andy Warhol famed 1964 silk screen portrait of Marilyn Monroe sold for $195 million on Monday, a record for a work of an American artist. Shot say Blue Marilyn is one in a series of portraits Warhol made of the actress following her death in 1962. The pieces, you know, since become one of the pop's art's best pieces, held the collection of Swiss art dealers Thomas and Doris. Again, it was sold by uh, Christie's auction in New York. The painting sold for a hammer price of $170 million. So it sold for 170 million. And then these guys made the, they added their fees. They made hundreds of thousands of dollars and priced at a hundred and nine. No, they made millions actually. A hundred and ninety-five million. Can you imagine just selling something and making millions of dollars? Artwork is built as a promotional photo mineral from the 1950s film uh, uh, Nigeria screen bright colors so there you go i don't know they never tell you who buys this stuff right okay there it is it went there for a uh, uh, exuberant amount it's sad it sickens me right here staffers work phone bids again they're all taking the phone calls right they're wearing their expensive clothes and notice here in this photo again these elitists this guy was a uh, this guy was crazy you can see this guy was possessed man look at his eyes I don't know much about them. You can do your research on them. I don't care. But you can tell by the artistry. Notice here. Notice. Can you guys see this? There's actually like a snake, a serpent, a dragon over the hair of Marilyn Monroe. Can you see that, guys? Right here's the eyes. Here is the mouth, right? And then notice these are the, the hands. The hands of the serpent or the dragon and this is ultimately, I believe he was portraying the serpent. These people sell their soul. And when they sell their soul, this is what happens here. Incredible. It's all, yeah, art is money laundering. You're right. You're right. As well as the elite. So you can see the entity right there as well. No way around it. Here he is with the photo. I think he's gone long gone now too. So there's everybody who's taking pictures. This is the most expensive photo or painting or whatever art piece ever from America, Kana or whatever. Here he is. American Andy was from 1928 to 1987. Picture sitting in a velvet chair. So he's long gone. But that thing is worth so much money. And they always say when you're an artist, you're, you're worth more dead, right? Or whatever. Let's look a little bit into Andy Warhol. I should have looked him up there. But you can see the serpent. You can see this dragon here, right? Right there and there, okay? All right, let's go in here. Again, this was hitting big time news. But again, it's it's crazy how much money. I mean, how many people, again, are homeless in America and all these things? It's very sad. Very, very sad indeed. So again, Andy Warhol right here. Now, you, I, I just get bad vibes off this cat, man. No debate, no deny. Again, you don't become a famous artist unless they want you to be, right? As always, you don't become anything in the system. And this is the painting right here. And there were multiple uh, photos of this. And some of them got damaged. And this was one of the one main ones. This is the main one that sold right here. And again, you can see the dragon. He made other pop culture, the Campbell soup, and all these things here. All right? Uh, just, dude, bad, bad vibes, dude. This guy was, ugh. Look at this. The attack on Andy Warhol. Just really negative energy. I, I'm not going to cover. You guys can do the research as well. Taxation thing, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, uh, Angel wins. I did not know that, and I don't care. These people are monsters. They literally are. But anyway, so there you go with that. Um, another news, I just to cover some more, again, covering the trending news today, breaking news. I remember I did the story on Mike Tyson when this guy was making fun of him and he beat the living crap out of him. Remember that? I covered the story. They were on a plane. This guy was bugging him. Mike Tyson had enough and he started beating him up. The guy, I guess, tried suing him or something. But now breaking news, Tyson will not be charged for plummeting or plummeting, beating up overly excited fan who threw a water bottle at him aboard a JetBlue flight as DA drops the case at the victim's request. So he basically said, hey man, don't do it or whatever because then he probably could have sued him or whatever. So he won't fight, fight, you know, face those charges. Um, you know, all these things in, in Cali, the viral video of Tyson was seen taking out the guy going to Florida. The victim later identified as 36 year old Melvin allegedly threw the bottle at Tyson. Um, uh, you know, and now Thompson has denied throwing the bottle, but admitting he was overly excited. Uh, Thompson has served 20 to 15 months for prisons for various crimes. So he was a jerk anyway. So there is that. <laughs> okay. Um, we have another crazy news. You know, we live in a world, and again, I'm going to start making crazy news, okay? On the trending news, we have the crazy news. And this one just like, what the flip? Flippity flute. No chair is big enough. Only fans model 29. Okay, guys, when you see this, you, I, you think of, you know, evil, right? 29-year-old who has... Had five Brazilian butt lifts in a bid to get the world's largest bottom reveals the downsides of her extreme figure. So Natasha Crown 29 from Gothenburg, wherever that's at, posted real realities of a large derriere rear on Instagram, revealed the difficulty she's facing of sitting on a chair after five bottom surgeries. She wants to have the biggest butt in the world. She now has reached 90 inches. Comes after she went on a dating show reveal men find her intimidating. It's not that men, here she is, with her, you know what, her arse. It's disgusting. It is what it is. I mean, look at her lips. Look at, they, they just filled this up with, you know, again, uh, you know, it's like fake, right? Guys, this is the new world order. <laughs> This is the new world, right? Unbelievable. It's it's grotesque. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what to say. People, she's making all this money. She's paid over $122,000 to get that heirs, right? There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm intimidated, right? I'm more than intimidated. I'm grossed out. Now, I can see if it's natural, okay? Listen, I'm not trying to rip on women with big dairy airs. Like, hey, I like a dairy, you know, nice, you know. But to, to, to go under the knife, she looked normal. Look at her. She was beautiful. And this is what she did, put silicone? God knows what she's put in there? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. Very shocking and very sad. But it is what it is. We live in thing. And then also they, they caught the whatchamacallit, the, the one guy and the these both of these people were named White. The security guard basically helped this guy get out. He was a thing. All kinds of crazy news. One of the other stories, guys, that I got here is she looks like a monster. You're right, Pat. What's going down? This is crazy. Again, guys, I'm live streaming from multiple platforms. From Facebook to YouTube, guys, I want to thank you guys again for coming aboard as I give you the top trending news for today. Well, this one here is, uh, again, political part of the system, of course. Uh, as fanfare sounded, how uh, peculiar, uh, how peculiar not to see the queen, the familiar presence uh, basically, uh, Prince Charles stands in for Her Majesty at state opening in the Parliament. It was a big moment, moment in personal and historic and constitutional terms, uh, rights, whatever. So basically, the Queen, caught, uh, she was sick, and she, she's 95 years old. 
And what they do is usually the queen, Elizabeth, will go to parliament in the House of Lords chamber. And this is when they open up the House of Lords every May, right? May 1st, well, you know, May, okay, all these things. Well, she's been sick lately. So now Prince Charles was there uh, and he looked very somber because who knows? She may be gone, right? And here again, we see the Knights of Templar, okay, the little symbol there. Notice the chair with the all-seeing circle, right, with these angels. These people are just no bueno, okay? Here, when we look here, this is this is today in the House of Parliament. We had the Queen there. The Queen was at home. They're getting ready for her Jubilee. And here you see again the Prince and Prince, uh, you know, Camilla, her, her, you know, his wife, and then Prince William over here. Now, looking at this monstrosity, again, this is the House of Parliament, the House of Lords. They believe they're gods. This is what they call these. This is their, their Congress and, and all of these people, right? And uh, again, you see the pyramid here, uh, the knights, you see all these symbols here. And then over here, guys, look at over here, you got the pillars, okay? Uh, this is supposed to be their government, and we see a reptilioid right here. Eyes, nose, and the mouth, y'all. You can't make this stuff up. This is their crest. This is what's controlling this world. Again, the dark energies. I always say it right there. You live in England. I used to have a lot of people when I had my old channel uh, from England. You know, all these things here, the British Isles. Again, here you go. But they want us to, to fascinate with a girl with the biggest rear end. And, uh, you know, they want us to Meghan Markle, talk about Meghan Markle and all this garbage. And here again, you see the House of Lords, all this, again, all there. No way around it. And uh, yes, Knights of Templar system, the Red Cross, this is who controls it. Remember, it was the Freemasons. The Knights of Templar went to England. Uh, then they became the Freemasons, the Masonic Orders. And there you see the Red Cross. It's all connections, guys. And at the highest orders... You know what they worship. Hey, I'm just reporting on what they are. And here you can see the symbol right there. Uh, let me give you one more bonus. Okay, not this monster, right? A queen on money, right? I've talked about this before. Right here, queen on money. And where is it? Canada, I think it was the Canada money. Uh, hold on here. It's just to show you. They show their signs everywhere, brother. Again, brothers and sisters. Where is it? They probably took it down. Right here it is. And in the Queen Elizabeth hair, we see the, the demon, the uh, monster. Right here. This is their money. They change it right there. The eyes, the nose, the mouth. The eyes, the nose, and the mouth with the horns. Queen Elizabeth in Canada, because that's also what they control. We go back. Let's go back into this. You see right here, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. The, again, another alien type thing. Eyes right there. De here's eyes, nose, mouth. De this is demonic, guys. The pyramid with the, all cir the circle, the symbolism. No way around it. All there. Uh, again, going back to Warhol. And uh, the, 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 the thing here, hold on, where is it at? I don't know, I probably took it down, whatever. But you know what I'm talking about. All part of the system, guys. So there you go. Now you know. If you didn't, you let me know. Again, guys, this is a special show. This is the first show now I'm trending worldwide in multiple platforms, over four platforms. I'm going to try to do videos for you almost every day when I can, giving you the top trending topics. If you like what I'm doing here, I would appreciate it. Subscribe. What I do is connect the dots and put it all together on the trending stream. Thanks again. Much love. Love all you guys. Donovan, I see you. Right? Uh, Isabella, Pat. And again, big, big shout out. To uh, Sam, thank you, brother, for the super chat. Angel wins. Thank you again. Thank you all for coming aboard. I love all you guys. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so, so much. So there you go. That's been the show for today. I hope you all have a blessed day. And may God always bless you and keep you. And I'll see you in the next exciting edition of the Trending Stream. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.